Hello guys, this is Mujish. Welcome to my channel Fuse Tube. Today we are going to talk about the Kinemaster which is one of the important, non-linear video editing application in both Android and iOS platform. Before getting into the editing, I want to show you what Kinemaster can do. By using Kinemaster, you can create clone videos, you can create flying tricks, and also you can create motion poster. You can customize your video by using green screen in Kinemaster. Let's we explore about it how to do this. Now I want to introduce the Kinemaster homepage. This is Kinemaster homepage. Here you can access the Kinemaster asset store. Here you can download music, effects, fonts, clip graphics, overlays, transitions, everything etc. And the next one is Kinemaster help button. Help and support you can contact the Kinemaster team via email or website. And another option is called Kinemaster YouTube channel. Uh, here you can find out some cool tutorials about Kinemaster application. Fourth one is magic tool. Uh, now I want to select some title for my magic tool. This magic tool is mainly used to for uh, to do a quick uh, slideshow for your friend's birthday or some kind of parties. Please choose the footages as you want and select the theme and type the opening middle and the end text as you like and if you don't like you can skip it and uh, choose the perfect background audio for your slideshow now i choose this is my quickest slideshow by using this option and you can notice that in the bottom audio it looks like a gray color uh, it removes the background noise it's, it is the meaning of that gray color now it's ready <laughs> Now we want to introduce about the settings. There are two kinds of settings. One is called project settings which is relevant to the project and the second one is called app settings. By using app settings you can redesign your Kinemaster application. Here are two options I love it. One is called device coverage information. Here you can check the maximum peak Kodak performance of your Kinemaster application and the maximum potential of your Kinemaster app. And I can edit and share the video at 1440 bytes. You can also do this process manually by clicking this option called run analysis now. And this is very important. You should uh, run analysis now your Kinemaster application. And another important option is called advanced and experimental settings. Here I love two, two options. One is called unlimited video layer mode because in some of the devices you cannot add more than four or five video layers but by enabling this option you can un add unlimited number of layers but enabling this option makes your kinemaster unstable and another important option is called allow export frame rates higher than 30 frame rates per second this op option is very important because if you are going to edit your short film in some part you may have a slow motion video then if you export your video in 30 frame rates per second the video looks like chubby so please ex enable this option and export the video in 60 frame rates per second now we are going to talk about the history. This is a this is the option I love very much in Kinemaster because in most of the softwares and applications you don't have this option. And when you accidentally close your application, all of your edits may last. But in the Kinemaster, you don't worry about that. Now we are going to learn about the basic interface of the Kinemaster. The basic interface of the Kinemaster is very very important because it makes a, it gives a overall detailed view about the Kinemaster application. Now I want to show you how to import the footage. Press the plus button to import the footage and here three aspect ratios are there and three of them are very important. The first one is 16 is 9 for YouTube videos, 9 is to 16 for vertical of status videos and 1 is to 1 for Instagram videos. Please to choose these aspect ratios carefully because once you choose you cannot change it later. For this purpose I am choosing 16 is 9 ratio. This is the basic interface of the Kinemaster. Now I want to show some examples so I want to choose some footage and I want to in order to import the footage press the media button and it leads you to the your gallery. Uh, you can see all of your footage in your gallery now I want to import the footage. If you long press the footage you can see the duration file size, resolution and frame rate of the video and here is an option is called star when you press the star it add your footage into your favorite folder it is it will be very helpful when you are going to edit your short film and uh, now I want to introduce some of the options in the action bar that is in the left side of the panel it is called action bar and the right side we have media wheel now we are going to explore about the action bar uh, the first one is undo and second one is redo and the third one is called export and share 
here you can export the resolution uh, you can uh, adjust the resolution at 1040 1080 and also you can adjust the frame rate 60 50 40 and uh, here you can adjust the bitrate note that if you are uh, vary the bitrate the file size and rendering time may be vary the more bitrate the more will be your quality of your video and now we are going to explore about the frame capture the frame capture means it captures the current frame the first one is called capture and save in your gallery second one is capture and add as a clip add as in the primary timeline the first timeline and add as a layer it adds the captured frame in the secondary timeline we will talk about the primary and secondary timeline later now we are going to explore about the project settings as i told al already the project settings which are relevant to the project the first one is audio here you have two options audio fade in and fade out likewise you have video fade in and fade out uh, this uh, this you can learn easily and another option is called editing here you can adjust the default duration of your photo clip and also you can adjust the default duration of your layer clip and another important option is called the default pan and zoom now i want to give an example if your if your aspect ratio is 16 is to 9 but you are going to import your footage in 9 is to 16 then you may see a black bars in the left side and right side of the clip when you enable fit in the screen it may be the case when you enable fill the screen then the whole 16 to 9 ratio fill uh, the video the video is filled in the whole 16 to 9 ratio and can burns random means it is mainly used for your slide show videos and this is called expand and shrink tool uh, it is more convenient when you are editing a great uh, more number of videos this is called the jump tool it leads to the first frame and the last frame of the video now i want to show an example about the expand and shrink tool now i want to add a layer so i want to capture this frame and add as a layer and this is the layer you can see it is a huge timeline so it will be helpful to you and this is the mini preview button you can preview the video and also you can play the video here and it will be very helpful when you are going to edit advertisement relevant videos because uh, here uh, there you you have to add an unlimited number of text and effects and overlays graphics everything and now we are going to explore about the some of the options in the basic interface the first one is asset store you have shortcut and another option is called play button you can play the video and another option is called exit tool and uh, in order to uh, in order to again editing the video plus the video in the history and you can play the video you can share the video and also you can duplicate the project and send it to, to, to your friends you can delete it also now i want to edit the video now i want to teach you the basic tools of the kine master in order to access it press the video and the first one is called a scissor tool scissor tool is mainly used to cut or trim the video you can cut at the left side you can cut at the right side or you can cut at the center or if you want to highlight a particular portion you can cut and add the freeze frame that is called a split and insert the freeze frame option and if you feel uncomfortable with the short video you can drag your video like this uh, press your two fingers in the panel and just drag it so it can expand the video and another important option is called pan and zoom you can zoom your video or zoom out your video then the third option is called clip graphics the clip graphics is mainly used to add graphics to your video and you have an n number of videos now i want to short the cut the video in order to give the graphics to my video very quickly so now i choosing this graphics and you can adjust the duration of your clip graphics also you can access the n number of graphics here if you purchased the kine master premium you can access the all graphics here so the clip graphics are mainly used for to enhance or show your video great and another option is called speed now i want to show you about the speed you can adjust the speed of your video you can create slow motion or you can create small fast motion in my device i can maximum uh speed up my video at the rate of 16 in tx so see the duration of the video it's only 17 seconds uh, now the normal footage is uh, it's about uh, 20 seconds or something so uh, you can i can also slow down my video and here you can see two options one is called mute audio if your video may contain audio it may mute your audio of the video and keep pitch in the sense uh, it can it uh, doesn't alters the pitch of your audio in the video and now we are going to talk about the reverse this is the new feature in the kine master the reverse feature it reverse your video it depends upon your video length the rendering time may be vary and another option is called 
screen mirroring and rotating you can rotate the frame of your video or and also you can mirror the size mirroring in the sense the top is come to the bottom and the bottom is come to the top likewise you can rotate and mirroring options available in the kinemaster and another option is called color filter now we are going to explore about the color filter these are the color filters some basic filters are available in the kinemaster you can access it but when you purchase the kinemaster premium you can as access lot of premium color filters in the kinemaster the warm the cold the vivid but some of the basic colors are also good but i recommend you to purchase the kinemaster to access all the filters in this option these color filters are mainly used to used in your whatsapp status videos and your short films and these color filters are very very important in your kinemaster now we are going to talk about the color adjustment the first one is called brightness you can adjust the brightness of your video and the second one is called intensity by varying the brightness you can make your video white and dark by varying the intensity you can make your footage like it's like a contrast and the third one is called um saturation of your video it can increase the color density of your video <laughs> Now I am going to teach you about the audio editing and the media wheel. By adjusting the volume button like this, you can adjust the volume to the maximum and the minimum. And another option is called pitch. By adjusting the pitch, when you pitch, when you adjust the pitch to the maximum level, the voice is changed into a kid voice. You can hear it. And when you adjust the pitch to the lowest level, your voice seems or hears to be like a hardest one or strong one. You can hear it right. Now we are going to explore about some basic equalizer settings in the Kinemaster, which are very will be useful. These are the pre-made equalizer options that is available in the latest version of the Kinemaster. You have AM radio, bass booster, and bass reducer, and hip hop. These options are very much useful when you have multiple audios. Now I have only only audio, only one audio, so I don't have an option to show a difference it between other options to you. Now we are going to explore about the volume envelope. I love this feature because volume envelope are very much useful when you are going to particularly in your video in the particular part you are going to make silent or in the particular point you you want you don't want any audio or you you don't want audio at the lowest level so you can use this volume envelope option by clicking the start button and the end button in between you can uh, decrease or increase the audio and make sure the center level line is called 100% volume and the top level is called 200% volume and the bottom level is called 0% volume and you can adjust this volume of envelope and you can customize the audio editing options in the kinemaster and the third option is called voice changer or voice filter uh, here i allow this option called two pitch to one hear it And another basic audio of filters or voice changes are also available. These are traditional filters, so you already seen about it. And now we are going to show about the vignette. Vignette mode, you already know about it. Add some black color layers and the extract audio, extract the audio from the video. And this is the question most of them asked uh, to me. and you can extract the audio and make sure when you extracted the audio the volume of the video is muted when the uh, volume is enabled you may hear a echo or chorus voice you just experience it manava nanbargalukkum en iniya maalai vanakkanga am i right right when you muted the audio you may hear a single track manava nanbargalukkum en iniya maalai vanakkanga now i just want to undo this uh, those kind of settings now i want to show you about some of the options in the kinemaster which is new to you the first one is called diagnostic information uh, by clicking this option you can you will know about all the options about the video you can copy to your clipboard to you know about the frame rate file size the resolution and so on now i want to show you about the media in the media it is very very useful because you can add your footage or in the you have and also you have some of background images available in the media option you can select you can choose your footage and also you can change the color in the favorite folder you can in the, for your short film if you are going to edit your short film you can add your clips in the favorite folder and also you can access your uh, drive storage your google drive storage by enabling this option or your you can add your drive to the kinemaster application 
now i want to change the color of the backdrop now i want to change the color to the light orange or yellow color now i want to change it likewise you can also change the color and other options are also uh, as we seen before you can also adjust the duration of the clip by uh, dragging right or dragging left and now we are uh, now i want to delete this uh, uh, media now i want to show you about the layer option in the layer you have media fx overlay text handwriting these are the options available in the media when you select this option your footage will be added as a layer in the secondary timeline uh, now i want to explain about you about the secondary timeline and media options and in animation out animation overall animation and the split to split tool and key animation these are the tools available you can also drag your footage like this and as i said before you can also have a mini preview and you can play your video in this uh, that expand tool and this is the friendly future for kind master advertisement edit users and uh, as i said before this is a non linear video editing application so you can customize as you want uh, this is the my layer photo now i want to split the video in the left side or right side and this is called a split screen and uh, it shows the maximum uh space occupied by the layer uh you can also uh, give the space to the layer in the bottom you can give the space to the layer in the top or you can give the space to the layer in the left side or the right side likewise you can give the full screen option now i want to turn off this option so another important option is called in the within the layer so you have another option is called uh, screening and rotating is already seen and uh, another option is called in animation uh, this is the main important feature of the kinema master because you have lot of in animations out animations and overall animations you can fade the clip you can uh, slide right you can slide left or you can drop you counter clockwise clockwise you can adjust the animation duration for 2 seconds 4 seconds if your file size if your layer size if your layer duration is more then you can uh, do the in animation you can adjust the in animation uh, as i shown in the screen and uh, you you may also have an uh, overall animation the overall animation which uh, which i very will be useful in the rain effect i just add a particle in the png image and i just select the rain effect and it it will looks like a rain and you can look the fountain pulse and uh, just uh, now i selected the none and you may also have an out animation these animations are very helpful in the text and you have an option is called cropping you can crop the particular video as i suggest please use this feature in the green screen removal because you can avoid the un unavoided space of the green screen and you can change the shape of this uh, layer also in the cropping mode uh, and another option is called alpha opacity now we are going to explore about the alpha opacity before getting into the alpha opacity now i want to redo this settings i done before and this is called alpha opacity it by adjusting this option you can increase or decrease the opacity of the clip it is simply like this and another option is called color filter uh, we already talked about it earlier and uh, adjustment is also we already talked about it elder uh, and uh, at the uh, and the end we will talk about the blending modes which will be very very useful in your uh, video editing in your whatsapp status video editing and you can also name the video layers like this now i want to select this and another option we are going to talk about this fx fx in the sense you can add fx to your footage as i said before the clip graphics it's like a clip graphics and there are lot of fx uh, available in the kin master asset store you can download it you can use it please don't install the kin master modified version please purchase the kin master now we want to choose this magnifier option the magnifier option is mainly used to highlight the particular part of the video now i want to highlight this tree version or mr silencer face and in the settings you also have some settings the settings are uh, really useful to uh, adjust the intensity of the magnifier you can also adjust the in animation out animation uh, don't magnify the image too much because if you magnify too much the skin color only reflect uh, i i want to show an example just look it you can see the difference right you can increase the smoothness and you can increase the magnification process like uh, the shapes or uh, as i said before the feather option is uh, uh, it, uh, the feather option means it makes it uh, it gives a smoothness to the outer layer of your the cropping your footage okay and now we are going to now i want to delete this now we are going to talk about the overlay 
ओवरले इन द सेंस वी आर ऑलरेडी नो अब द ओवरले ओवरले इन द सेंस इट ऐड्स द इट इट ऐड्स इन दि ओवरले आफ द मीडिया मेन ऑप्शन नव ऐ वॉन्ट टू ऐड द फेदर्स दीज फेदर्स एंड दीज फेदर्स आर वेल विल बी यूजफुल इन द वॉट स्टेटस वीडियोज वी आर गोइंग टू एडिट अ लव स्टेटस दैन दिस फेदर ऑप्शन इज वेरी वेरी यूजफुल एंड बै अडजस्ट इन दिस ब्लैंडिंग मोड Uh, we will talk about it later detailedly uh, detailedly so by adjusting the blending mode you can adjust the uh, diffusion of the layer with your main footage and you can also adjust the animation of the uh, clip and now we are going to talk about the text which is very very important uh, i want to type the my name as a text and you have different kind of text available in the canvas you have tamil english hindi and uh, there are different kinds of text style and serif display handwriting latin sans serif and there are a lot of uh, different text styles available in the kinemaster most of the text styles are free so that is the only important option in the kinemaster and another option is called you can change the color of the text and you can likewise you can cut the left side you can uh, cut the right side these in animation and out animation are very very useful in their text animation because uh, if you are going to edit your kinemaster also status videos for a lyric lyrical video these text editing is very very important as i said before the rotating and mirroring and alpha opacity are uh, already seen before uh, this is called shadow which gives shadow to your text and uh, you can change the color of your shadow also and another option is called glow which gives a glowness glowness in, in the sense in the back side of the text it gives some brightness or some kind of highlighting so you can adjust the color like this and another option is called outline it gives a outline like a stroke it adds in the stroke you can add a uh, st mainly stroke in the sense uh, people use it in the photoshop and you can also just the back background color in the background of the text you can add a color uh, you can adjust the opacity to i now i am adjusting to the 100% you can change the color like this also and full width background means it occupies the horizontal position uh, the exposition complete exposition likewise as i said earlier the blending mode is also very very useful and these are the settings of the text and now we are going to talk about the handwriting tool uh, this will, this will be very useful for animation makers in the kinemaster but animation in kinemaster is not not so good because they have some basic options only they don't have much more uh, great options like frame by frame animations otherwise you can create a square you can create you can draw as you want Uh, and also some of the options available here you can uh, animate it uh, as i like draw by stroke or draw in order or erase or fade options these are the options are very very useful in the kinemaster as i said earlier and now we are going to talk about some of the new things in the kinemaster let's we explore about it this this is all about the layer and now i can record my voice in the inbuilt of the kinemaster you can start the recording and there may be inside noise cancellation in the kinemaster and this is called a music you can import your music from your gallery or you can download the music assets from the kinemaster asset store uh, and you can also uh, download the sound effects if you feel i am going very fast please adjust the video speed in the youtube or adjust the video speed in the facebook and you can adjust the uh, you can adjust you can choose the sounds in different formats like recorded songs songs albums artist and genres everything now i want to choose this audio this is drop it off and hello summer and these are the premium audios available in the kinemaster i love more and another audio is also called cartoon which is available in the kinemaster now i am choosing call me dj and you can see the frequency of the response of the uh, audio when you select the dugging it removes the background noise when you select the loop and it will automatically again and again playing when you click the loop at end loop to the end means if your footage is uh, 20 seconds long if your audio is only 10 seconds then loop to the end means it stretch it, it stretch your video uh, stretch your audio to the end of the video this feature will be very useful as i said earlier the trim and split down audio filters and equalizers as we all talk about it uh, before and volume envelope piece also we already uh, learn about it before now we are going to talk about some of the new options in the kinemaster To use a blending mode, tap the layer you wish to blend. Then, tap blending. At the top of the blending's option panel is the alpha opacity slider. For more about the setting, please watch the alpha quick tip video. If normal is checked, no blending effect is applied.
Overlay, the blending mode available to KineMaster users without a subscription, darkens the dark areas and lightens the light areas of a layer. Multiply will darken pixels that are lighter than the pixel value in the video or image layer. Screen does exactly the opposite of multiply, lightening dark pixels. Soft light is similar to overlay, but the results will appear more diffuse. Hard light will darken or lighten the pixels depending on how they multiply or screen. Lighten increases the brightness of pixels on the primary timeline. Darken does the exact opposite of lighten. Color burn darkens the pixels according to the color in the video or image layer. Now I'm going to teach you about chroma key or green screen editing. This feature will be very useful for those who YouTubers uh, to change their backdrop, to remove their backdrop or create some cool contents in the KineMaster. In order to apply this effects, first import your footage in the primary timeline as a media. Then add your green screen footage or add your effects in the layer mode. Then you have option called chroma key in the settings. Enable this option. Depends upon your key color, please choose the green color. KineMaster automatically choose the key color. By adjusting these settings, you can remove the backdrop. If you feel, if you not feel good uh, by the man automatic adjustments, you can click this show mask option, adjust the option again. Uh, when you see a pure white color uh, in the backdrop of black color, then you can just uh, choose it because it automatically removes all the green color or some color backdrop in the uh, particular video. Uh, this will be very much useful for uh, YouTubers in the KineMaster. Uh, this will also called chroma key editing or green screen removal. Now I'm going to teach you about how to add transition to a clip. In order to add transition, you must cut the clip into multiple parts. In between the two clips, you can add a transition. You may have n number of transition available in the KineMaster assets too. You can choose it. In order to access it, you have you must have a premium version of the KineMaster. You can adjust the transition duration too. And also some of the transition may be manually adjust. Now I want to choose these kind of two transitions. Now I am adjusting these animations. Because the, the more the duration, it takes more the time to transist. So there are so many transitions also available, the fade in or fade out or those kind of transitions are very smooth for movies and these options are available for some kind of travel log videos. I hope now you uh, learned about how to add transitions. I am going to teach you about the key animation. Key animation is one of the important options for meme creators. It will be very useful for frame by frame animation. For example, now I am going to uh, show an example. The first thing you have to import a footage in your primary timeline. And next you have to add your text. Or you can also make a key animation for your photo by using the layer mode. And this is my text. Uh, now I want to create a, some kind of left to right option. In order to do this animation, first you have to keep your footage as the left side corner of your footage. Then you have to click the key animation and you have to move to the last frame of the text and now you have to move the text from the right side to the left side of your footage and it makes your footage like left to right movement you just now i want to show you how it works please be patient now i closed it now i want to play the video just look the video cool right likewise you can also create you can customize the key animation as you want you can add a key animation to your photo or some kind of things now i want to show you some of the options in the kinemaster which you never seen before that is called bookmarks did you hear about this option most of the youtubers may not be uh, aware about this topic is called a bookmarks in kinemaster you can uh, in the particular part of the video you can add a bookmark to the video in the kinemaster how to do this bookmark in a sense it is so simple first you have to long press that timeline that red color timeline is right you, you, ha you can see the 5 is 51 seconds something some kind of 6 second you just long press it you may have an option is called add bookmark and also you can remove the bookmarks also now i want to clear all bookmarks and also you can add the bookmarks again and now i want to remove the particular bookmark and i removed these are the options you can add bookmark because these bookmarks are very helpful when you are going to edit in the particular part of the video 
now i want to add a photo as a layer now i choose the photo now i want to show some kind of some kind of uh, front and back animation or some kind of thing that is called um if you have m- multiple n number of photos if your text should be comes in the middle of the photo or uh, in the front side of the boat photo or in the back side of the photo you can adjust it adjust it as you want how to do this in the sense first <coughs> choose your photo or choose your text then in the action bar you have option called three buttons first now i am choosing my text in the action bar you have three uh, option the first one is duplicate and the bring to front in the sense it uh, brings your text to the top in the bar, in the top side and uh, send it to back in the sense it keeps your footage to or text to the back side likewise these are the options available in the kinema master and the last but not least the superb option in the kinemast is called 3d sound effects i hope that you may not aware about this because no youtuber will talk about this because it's a cool stuff you can create it simply very very simply now i'm going to show you how to do this it makes your audio travel from your left ear to the right ear in order to do this you have to sl- split your audio into multiple segments and you have to adjust your volume of the each audio separately now i want to show you how to do this please to split your audio into multiple segments first select the first audio then go to the audio button then you can see you, you must select the auto volume and keep the both side to the left side and it's called as a compressor and the next uh, uh, audio clip you keep it on the right side and the next audio clip you keep the compressor to the left side uh, likewise the vice versa next clip and as usual like that if you do that then it will create a, it will create an illustration like the audio travels from the left ear to the right ear you just note the uh, audio bar audio bar just note that first left side then right side then left side then right side then uh, likewise then the medium so by this you can create the 3d effects of your audio i hope that this video will be very useful to you